Hello and welcome to Leader of the Pack Pet Services. I'm Wendy and today my dog Jet and I are going to take you through the step-by-step -step process to teach your dog to lie down on command. This is also known as the drop or down position and you can use either of those as your command word. Just make sure whichever one you select you use consistently with your dog. You might also want to consider what other commands you give your dog in your day-to-day -day life. For example, if you say sit down to your dog, then you might want to use drop as your command for this activity instead. And same thing, if you use the word drop when you want your dog to release something they have in their mouth, then you want to use down for this activity instead. So step one is getting your dog in the right position. Now the drop or down, which I'm going to use throughout this video and you can swap them around, doesn't really matter. Um, is they, it's done from a stand position, not a sit. So from a stand, your dog can easily fold back into the drop or down position, whereas from a sit, it's much harder for them. They have to obviously get into a sit first and then slowly ease forward, um, and it becomes a two-step process rather than just one. So you'll obviously have to give your dog the sit command first if you teach them that way, and then the down command. Where from a stand, you can just say down, and they'll go straight and easily down there. So the easiest ways to do this is to get down to the level of your dog, and you'll definitely need to if you have a small breed dog, though you can do it from standing if you like. And it's easier to have your dog in front of you. So I'll just lure Jet into position, come on. In front, across from you like this. Good boy. You can also do it so your dog is, <laughs> here you go, is facing you. It doesn't really matter, but I think it's easier when they're across your body instead. Come on. Like this, good boy. <laughs> so step two is luring your dog down into the right position. So what you wanna do is have some food treats in your most dominant hand uh, and kind of have it in <laughs> like a little pinch position. You're gonna put it on your dog's nose or mouth without letting them have any. And then you're gonna drive your arm down between their feet and see them they fold back into position. And once they're down, then you can give them those food treats. Good boy. So when you're teaching your dog um, using the luring technique down, this can actually take the longest part of this whole process because some dogs don't understand that you're wanting them to actually be lying down on the ground. So just persevere with this and if your um, dog is not quite, like if they can, <laughs> he just folds down naturally so it's fine. But if you find as you're driving down and holding the food, if your dog is still kind of staying in like a play bow type position, just hold the food there, don't let them eat it yet, just hold it there and hopefully they'll fold fold down the rest of their, their body down onto the ground. So this, as I said, can take a little bit of time, but just persevere with it, just hold steady. Sometimes the dog will also, might walk backwards when you're driving your arm down to between their paws. So if that's the case, instead of d just drive it kind of straight down close to you and just hold, and that way the dog won't walk back. So if you're pushing too far, that will make your dog walk backwards rather than having the head go straight to the ground, which is really what we're wanting them to do. Up, up. So you want the head to go down, follow the food, hold, hold, yes, good boy. And then they fold back. Good job. So really this will take a little bit of time, but practice, keep, keep doing with this activity and they will get it eventually. So step three is to reward them while they remain in place. Even though we only want them to stay in position for a few short, short seconds when they're first learning it, it's a good idea to keep rewarding them whilst they're in the lying down position to help remind your dog that this is actually what you want them to do, not just move to the down position, but to actually remain there for a few seconds. So you can use your marker word, yes. Give them a few treats while they're remaining in the down position, yes. And that just helps to reinforce to your dog that this lying here like this is what you're actually after. Yes. Now that takes us to step four. This is where we're gonna now release our dog from position. Because if we don't tell them when to finish being in the down or the drop position, how will they know when to get up? So a release cue lets them know that this activity is finished for now. So I like to use the word free, but you can choose anything you like that's kind of a bit fun and short like that. What you also do when you give your release cue is then you're gonna move your body a little bit to encourage your dog to get up and then you'll also give them a food treat. Free! Yes, good boy. So step five is repeat, repeat, repeat. You wanna do this a number of times to make sure that your dog understands the, the action that you're requiring when you do this activity with them. Hey. Yes, good job. Free? Yes. Ooh. Yes, good boy. Free? 
So step six is where you're gonna now introduce the command once your dog has mastered the activity of lying down. Good boy. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna say your command, whichever, drop or down. You're gonna wait a couple of seconds to see if your dog will go down into the position on their own. And if not, that's okay, you'll just lure them down like before. Wait a couple of seconds and then release them. <laughs> you're keen, aren't you? Ready? So down. <laughs> Not quite right, but at least you did. Yes. Free. <laughs> Down. <laughs> yes. Free. As you can see, sometimes even though I showed Jet the correct way to go into the drop, sometimes he would flop down from a sit, which is obviously not ideal if you were trying to do um, correct like obedience trials and things like that. For around the home though, it's probably not the, the biggest deal, but if you want to make sure that they do learn the correct way, then just keep practicing the other way. Don't let them go down into a sit first. <laughs> just instead of waiting once you've said your command, just immediately show them with your um, hand signal, with your food in it, how to go down in the correct way, <laughs> and then release them like usual. Once with a bit more practice and consistency, then they'll be able to change the mode. He was just <laughs> being a bit lazy, I think, and doing his, his preferred way that he likes to do when he's relaxing. Because around the house, he'll just flop down on the ground like that all the time. So yeah, if you are um, wanting to make sure that they do this 100% correctly, then just give your command, follow through with the luring motion down so that they do go into that fold back position. Don't give them the food yet, but you can mark it yes or good, release them, then give them the food treat and keep practicing over and over until that motion becomes natural for them instead. All right, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you give this activity a practice with your dog. It is fun and it has loads of different uses for around the home, which I'll show you in an upcoming video. All right guys, thanks so much. Enjoy teaching this to your dog and I'll see you next time. Bye.